So you see here, this is the plaque that sits outside. And again, we see that picture of Solomon. And here's a little bit of a story talking about in 1841, Solomon Northup was kidnapped in Saratoga Springs, New York and sold into slavery. In 1852, Solomon met a Canadian carpenter named Bass who was able to mail letters to Solomon to Saratoga Springs. The letters were eventually passed to Henry B. Northup and Ann H. Northup, Solomon's wife. It was Henry B. Northup who effected the rescue of Solomon Northup. After taking care of legalities in Washington, Henry B. headed to Marksville, Louisiana, where the letters from Solomon were postmarked. There he found Bass with the help of a local lawyer named John P. Waddell. Bass let Henry B. know that Solomon was a slave at Epps Plantation. With the local sheriff on hand, Henry B. went to the Epps Plantation to prove Solomon's freedom and take him home to New York State. Finally, on January 22, 1853, Solomon was reunited with his family and able to return home to Glens Falls. And there is Henry Bliss north up right there. And it's a better view of the marker. And a lot of the north ups are buried right here, right in Fort Edward. See kids, there's history all around you. Just gotta know where to look. Have a good day. Bye.